This ultrasound study is uh, that of a 24 year old female, uh, married six months back, no history of uh, menstrual irregularity, referred to rule out any pregnancy, I for more, but uh, in fact, when I uh, see this with the full bladder, adequately full bladder, I see that this is the cervix of the, this is the cervix, this is the cervical canal, small amount of fluid is seen posterior to it, and uh, I can trace the uterus up to this level in the omicurinal section, and this is the transverse section that of the uterus uh, with normal central clear endometrial canal. You see this, this the uterus measures approximately 7.5 centimeters in length and 4.0 centimeter in the uterus posterior diameter. This is the depth and uh, this is the urinary bladder. You see uh, in longitudinal section and this is the urinary bladder in transfer section this region. This is the uterus. All of this is the uterus, and uh, in long, this is the uterus in longitudinal section, whereas this is the uterus in transfer section. Uh, this is the cervix. So in this, uh, and this is the vagina. So so far as the uh, uterus by itself is concerned. It's uh, with a normal, uh, no focal mass region is seen relating to the cervix or uh, the uterine interior segment, posterior segment, the endometrial canal is appearing center, normal, clear. This is the endometrial canal, a better view of the endometrial canal, and it's clear of any echoes or calcification, nothing significant is seen in this, uh, from this location. However, small amount of fluid is seen in, and this is uh, most probably the fluid representing post-ovulatory fluid. Now, <coughs> you see, this is the survey. This area is the cervix, and from here you see that is the uterus myometrium of the anterior and posterior endometrial canal. Now, when I move the probe, let us see the status of the uh, ovaries. If we can see them. the right ovary. This is the right ovary with developing follicles seen in it. And uh, the left side. It's not. Yeah, here is the left ovary. This one developing follicles can be seen and uh, both ovaries are known. So what is this uh, solid complex cystic and solid mass which is extending anterior to the uh, umbilical region in the midline. Large mass that relates. Now if here you will see that it relates. It was uh, labeled as a high dediform mole, but in high dediform mole you don't see uh, a cyst of this size. This is a cyst within this uh, large complex solid uh, mass. So this cyst is about 42 into 41 mm within this solid mass. Okay, now this is the cyst. This is, there are <coughs> multiple non-communicating cysts, but uh, 
this is the mass. This is the urinary bladder. The longitudinal section. sections. So this was to show you the largest cyst, the measurement of the largest cyst. And uh, because you see, hydrodiffin mole gives you a grape-like appearance. Uh, iceberg type of an appearance here. You can see multiple non-communicating variable size cysts uh, with largest about 4 into 4 centimeter and this solid complex cystic and solid mass is uh, can be traced up in the midline up to anterior of the uh, umbilical region. Now this is very important to relate the this uh, mass with uh, is it an adenexal mass? No, it's not an adenexal mass. You see that uh, if you concentrate on this region, you will see that uh, the fundal region is being cut off. Here, you see, this is the uterus anterior myometrium, posterior myometrium. This is the in an endometrial canal, this is the urinary bladder, and this is the large mass that you are seeing, complex, cystic, and solid. Now, it, it relates to the fundus of the uterus. It is cutting the uh, globular appearance of the fundus. You know, it's rounded, but you don't see and it's straight, uh, and it relates to this mass. So this is, in fact, relating to the fundal region of the uterus. So this is a pedunculated fibroid with multiple in areas of internal degeneration uh, or necrosis uh, that is seen relating to the uterine fundus, the fundal region. So this is a fundal region pedunculated fibroid uh, which is extending up to the para uh, anterior to the umbilicus in the midline and uh, the appearance of the, now let's only uh, uh, see the appearance of the uh, fibroid. This is a large fibroid with areas of internal regeneration and necrosis. This is the uterus. Small amount of fluid. This is the mass. Now the transfer section of the tube. So in fact this is a fibroid pedunculated relating to the uterine fundal region. Thank you.